studio. My name is Cynthia Moser and I'm a watercolor artist and I am passionate about what I do with all the different subjects that I paint. I paint most everything from people to landscapes to still life. Uh, right now I'm concentrating uh, on florals uh, up close florals, uh, one at a time florals, where I can get the uh, beautiful transitions of color that watercolor lends itself to with uh, colors blending into one another as in the painting I did for the banner this year. Um, I started painting when I was a child, started drawing as a child and continued through my high school and college years taking classes. Uh, my father was an architect and he encouraged me to, to paint and to draw and I also had an uncle who was an illustrator in New York who did watercolors for uh, magazines, the Post magazine, uh, the Ladies Home Journal. It was fun to see his watercolors printed in the magazines. After college and after getting married and having a family, um, I continued my art classes at night. I took a lot of watercolor classes, but a lot of drawing classes too. And then when we moved to South Carolina, to Columbia, South Carolina, I got serious about my art, about my watercolors, as there were a lot of opportunities in Columbia to do this. Uh, I took workshops throughout the state and I uh, took uh, classes with a lot of well-known artists that came to that area. My paintings have evolved in that I can now express myself when I see something that just turns me bonkers that I, and I have to paint it. And it used to be, how do I do that? And it was so frustrating trying to get it on paper. But now I think I've reached a point and it's wonderful that I can express myself on paper and finally get the feeling that I want because that's the greatest passion of trying to put down what you're feeling onto paper. And I am so very fortunate that I have this ability to do that at this point, and I'm still working on it, trying to do much better. Um, but it's such a joy to come down to my studio every morning and paint uh, as I try to do. And so when my husband retired, we retired to Hendersonville, I became very involved in Art League and enjoyed every minute of it. It's a wonderful Art League. Uh, also, after getting there, I be, uh, did the studio tour, the open studio tours for many years. Um, and I joined the Watercolor Society of North Carolina, where I um, was accepted eight times into its annual show and became a signature member. Um, I am now um, represented by the Art Mob uh, Studio and Marketplace in Hendersonville. And I am a member of the Artscape Committee which I have uh, been on the banner for four years now and have enjoyed, enjoyed the competition and enjoyed meeting people through that. And, and I want to um, commend my uh, sponsor, Alec Hall, for, for uh, representing me. I really appreciate it. My name is Alec Hall and I'm one of the sponsors of the 2020 Artscape Project, Banner Project. Um, when I first saw the applications come out for Artscape, 
I thought this would be a perfect time to pass it forward. And I say that because I'm a recent, relative recent um, pers person in North Carolina. We moved down here five years ago from Michigan. And when I first came here, um, I met artists that were working in the area, and they were very, very warm in the reception of me. Um, we were chatting, we were exchanging ideas of painting and so forth, and became very well acquainted with the art community here in, in Hendersonville and Asheville in very short order. Um, I did have one of my paintings accepted into the very first arts, Artscape Art Banner project, and I was very pleased uh, to have that happen and to have Mass General Store be my sponsor at that time. So when, when I saw the applications come out a year ago, I thought this would be perfect time for me to um, help the art community in general. So I signed up for it and fortunately I was um, allowed to be one of the sponsors. And when I found out that uh, a piece of Cynthia Mosher's had been accepted, uh, they allowed me to have her painting on my banner. And I was extremely happy with that because Cynthia was one of the first artists that I'd met in Hendersonville. Uh, she was having an, an open house at Art Mob one day, so I stopped by just to see what she was doing. And we chatted for almost a half hour. Uh, very warm, very pleasant person, and an exceptional artist. Her florals are just beautiful. So having her be my artist on the banner that I was sponsoring was a win-win as far as I was concerned. So I'm very pleased to be a sponsor. I'm very pleased to be doing whatever I can to help the community and the art community here in Hendersonville. And again, it, it is such a wonderful community to be sharing art with everybody that um, I'm happy to be a sponsor and, and hope to continue to be a sponsor in the future.